Which is music for Hello YouTube. Oh, look at the little Vivian right there! 1919 was, I think, either the game time or when we stopped playing last time. Alright, well, first off, there's exactly one thing we need to do first. Let's get ready to gamba! We got one! Pog. So I never knew this until I just saw a random comment online. Apparently that's like entirely decided for how many days it's been since you started your save file and there's literally no luck or RNG to it whatsoever. Which is, you know, kind of lame. Gonna throw that one out there. Ooh, the jam and jelly. I don't have any of these. I could buy them. Sure. Actually, no, I think you upcharge, so fuck you. Oh, wait. Uh, what are all the items I'm holding? Should put away one of these life shrooms. Oh god, I've got some bizarre items that I should probably look up recipes to, and I kind of forgot that was a thing I should do off stream. Oopsie! Would have done that today if I had remembered. Anything I don't have in here? Nope. I don't have that power rush P. Let's call unsimplifier. You know what? Sure. I'll just buy a bunch of shit because it's not like money is a problem in this version. Peach laugh. Um, so I probably haven't turned in the star yet, have I? Um, is there anything else I want to do? Let me check and see if a rat boy is down here. I don't remember when he shows up again. Nope. Probably next chapter then. Let me also bump the game volume just a touch. There we go. Probably right there. the partners, right? Okay. Also, we got Ms. Mouse! Shout out to Ms. Mouse! Um... Trying to think of what all we can do now. It's been a, a little bit. So just kind of mentally going through my head what all we've recently gotten, so I can skip over to that side if I wanted. I don't have enough pieces for that. I should be able to get the item in the spiky room now that we got Vivian. Which is that room right there? Yeah. yeah, I think it's this button. Woo! Spike shield badge! Ah, uh, it was a little too slow there.
get up. Oh, I didn't put my items away like I said I was going to. Oops. Oh, well. I'll turn in the crystal star and do that. Uh, there shouldn't be anything off to that side. Fancy piano. I'm gonna fight Cynthia in here? Off Ms. Mouse off to the side like she's actually part of the group or something. I will say, while adding color to the map is kind of nifty and all, I do feel like it... I guess it doesn't. Never mind. I was gonna ignore me. Better hurry, don't you think? We should go to the professor's office. Have to let him know about the princess's email. It's been like a month now or something, right? Better, better, ba. Well, that was written in Princess Peach's email. Legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it? Our bone chilling, sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? This is rather long, so you'd best listen well. All of you ready? You there in front of the screen, listen up too. Never you mind, don't worry about such trivial details. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which once stood here may well refer to this demon. Said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. The fucking music is playing right now. Okay, that's a little more menacing than whatever the violins were doing a second ago. See, that almost sounds like whimsical. Not really fitting, Nintendo. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. We call them the Warriors of Light, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. Chaos. Heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. They sealed its wicked spirit within the Palace of Shadow, locked behind the Thousand Year Dome. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil, like the Dragon Balls. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. Seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Guess we ought to consider not collecting them then. You don't think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. Slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. Just maybe. It's as though it was named after a very specific amount of time, and it has been that very specific amount of time. Hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. Once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x dots fail. And I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars who want to seal the demon, right? Where do we start? According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keelhole Key. None too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless and savory rumors. Sweet, sour, bittery, but not savory. 
no umami there. The usual stuff. Vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses. Usual ooh crap. Sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Okay! I'll talk to you for it. There's got to be a way to just poof and get rich, you know? Poof. Nope. You then? You, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. Can answer anything. Heel hole key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. She belongs to Flavia, the merchant trader. Don't sail too often, though. Mostly hangs at Podley's joint, the end by the square. Hey, yo, fuck Podley. All my homies hate Podley. Did I do all the, uh... The help things? Speaking of, you know, fuck Podley. No, I think that's the next chapter. Alright, Flavio. We haven't had enough talking yet today. This is the Skull Storm, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. I'm not talking to Fa Flavio. I accidentally touched the rock. I'll give it great big kisses. What do you want, huh? Who? Me, you ask about? I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader, the richest man in Rokor. God. Gotta commit. He's gonna be a mainstay for a while. One thirty wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. Yet why is that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides, must know what do I lack? Uh, romance. Is she a cute trans witch girlfriend like I have? Fool. One does need some romance in life. Another sweet, delectable fruit could make so many wonderful pasta sauces. No, foolish Flavia. Not romance, you silly man. What I need is romance. Hold the horses. That is it. I like the little fiddle music I just noticed was playing. Damn it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. This is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion of money. That's like a dangerously close to the start of Pirates of the Caribbean Nintendo. You gotta be careful with that one. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Kiel Hall Key. Well, tells, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People hear a whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Kiel Hall Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. The papery, papery seas. Talk of a legendary treasure here beneath Rogueport. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about some treasures some street urchin spews out. Please put the S's and the T's. I'm clearly struggling with them. No, 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 no. 
Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map. W well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keel Hall Key. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man! Now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars? But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's horn. And in retrospect, it's a little odd to specifically mention that in the piles of the gold and the jewels and the, the crowns and the, the whatnot. Perhaps it was important if they very specifically mentioned the star-shaped rock that he has. Think it was blue? Maybe? Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop. Such thoughts, Lavia. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to kill Hulk Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. I must repeat that. Flavia's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious, like Flavio's car. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Danger and ad adventure tickled my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. My nostrils have you on length, though you t your girth is impressive. Talking about his nose. His Flavio also has quite a large nose, but it is much more pointed and sharp. As Mario's looks like a cartoon who got stung by a bee and was swollen. So does you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. Feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The oh, majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Behold the elegant curve of her prow, she cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? She's not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. Well, I tell you, this proud ship can... Yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. Problem. I'd completely forgotten about it. Yes, it's Flavio. She wishes me. There's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dock. The navigator, of course, is the highest linked helmsman. They steer ships. Now, here is the real problem. Waters around Kilho Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, uh, how you say, a pig. I heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. God, with the, the accents and the funny voices and the... Do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem and spit it out already. I heard talk of a fame... No! Legendary. Sailor living in Rogue Ball. I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. Salty old sea dog by all accounts. I don't know what navy he served in, but, you know. Names is names. Said to have the almsman's touch, sir, can make any ship bow to his will. There ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Ah, so boom, problem solved. Let us scout out this Barbary fellow and get him on board. Flavio does not walking like walking, though. So as he's customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Barney. Does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Is that actually the shop guy that stands outside the shop? Find this poverty and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. One of those things where I've probably noticed that before and just forgotten, but... Ooh. I 
what is the guy that stands outside? Um, was there something I wanted to check in the let me check the sewers real fast. Also, no. Like, do I have to talk to Pogly now, or do I wait a second? I think I wait a second. Now we can go to Twilight Town whenever we want. Hooray! Is there something I can snag here now? Or, let me see, that's the pit. From that I need the boat power supply. Okay. Whew! That is... Got two power pluses and a defend plus? I wasn't fucking around, I guess. Fifteen flower power. I might have to put a level or two in flower power just cause, and then maybe after that I'll start leveling badge points again. Gonna be playing with a little bit of a dangerous 20 max health for maybe the rest of this playthrough, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, meanwhile, back to the plot. Whew. Oh, I hate how you have to build up fucking momentum with Yoshi in this one. Maybe the worst change they've done. He was so dashing. No, actually, he might have been a bandit. Yeah, that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. Speaking of chimneys, weird, it's like that was a hint or something. Hello. Crazy how I just knew where you were. What do you blokes want? I want in your closet real fast. Hold on. I have stolen your shine sprite. Rare treasure from Isle de Fimo, eh? She got no bobbery. Never heard of the gin. Take your search elsewhere. Oh, away with you. Well then. I forgot about that can right there. I was like, what the fuck's at the bottom of the screen? Besides that's the bug I can smash for a coin. And maybe I was supposed to talk to Podly first, but hold on. Before I forget again. The inventory is a bit full. Um, that, and that, and... Were they both up here? They were. Oh, I have 14 points. Am I close to something? No. Ice Storm's a pretty good item, though. Alright, Podly, you rat fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. I think both of you and he would be better off if you just let him be. I did have to talk to you first, damn it. I almost did, but... You know what? I keep passing by the place. Let me, in fact, double check. Okay. So this is the second time we were going by it. We're gonna go by a third. Faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Please don't insult us. We already know you're the Admiral, so just admit it. Ralph. Poppycock. Tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? Huh. Say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. 
I'm so sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea, never more. Maybe you don't understand how important this is. We need you. I'll never get to Keel Hall Key. I'm awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. No! Snooping as usual, I see. What do you think, Mario? Nothing we say seems to be enough to convince this man. Do you find it odd? Why would a sailor have such hatred for the sea? We need answers. Maybe we should ask around town about this man's story. Back to the bar! Hey kid, do you know a place where sailors hang out? Hey mister, you wanna wrestle? Shenmue would probably be a fairly decent sub-goal at some point, now that I think about it. Won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that's surprising. Real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bob Ray back on the water? Is that it? Now I see. Want to mount an expedition to Keelhole Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bob Ray, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. I'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. No, I hate sad stories. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Once married, he had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. Two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Storytime gets unique music this time around instead of using the generic, sad fucking music. Renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. Am I implying that it's common for wives to cheat on sailors in this children's game? Maybe. His eye never drifted. Am I implying sailors fuck around a lot in this children's game? I think I am. Loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. Not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. It was a virus. Sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Mm. Can't imagine what that poor man went through. No wonder he won't sail. I'll know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That determined, then I'll give you this. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. Don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request, which is why I didn't do it. As she begged me as she was dying as both of their best friend, I ignored her fucking dying last request. Pain as he mourned his wife. Just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. Regretted it ever since. You know, I've regretted it, but like, I'm not enough to go give him it? His dying wife's final letter to him that I swore to her I would give to him? It's too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobby. Ready, Mario? You know, it's been years, and I didn't, like, sneak it into his shelf at some point so that he could just find it later on. Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Here's a letter from your dead wife. Scarlet. This is Scarlet's handwriting. 
Now that I think about it, his mustache is very Eggman-esque. With, like, specifically the, like, three prongs on it. I think Wily also has a very similar mustache. I love if you're reading this letter that I am no longer bo Then I am dead as fuck. Because fate has stepped between us. I have decided to write you this letter. Reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet daughter. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. Do not lose both of your life's love. Also, please be nice to Podley, who I entrusted this letter to as my dying wish. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. A thousand parts. May I have a moment alone, if you please? I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Oh, then you were looking for an navigator, I believe, bound for Keelhokey. Like an old sea bum like me is what you need, let's shove off. Ship's in the harbor. Hmm? Shall, must inspect her before we leave. Shall meet you there. Oh, excuse me, I want to be alone for a little bit with the boat. Where did you find that letter, by the way? Podly, you say? It's not the only reason Podly sucks, but it's the first one we get. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of like, eh, he might not be that bad, but then, like, the other thing happens, and it's like, oh, he just sucks. Got it. Good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's the same. Do you wish you'd come back to place sometimes really busy? Going someplace far away like a place nobody's ever been. Blah, blah, blah. Egg! I think that's supposed to be hinting that if you go back and talk to her, you can play like a little mini game, but then you can get an egg. I think you cook her with the egg. So, you know, very exciting stuff there. I so don't know if I knew about that mini game before now. I think I saw Riddick coming about it, and I don't think I've ever done it. Alright, shut up. I'm just trying to jump up here. I knew you would get Bobbery on board. You, I've lost his voice already. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. Flavio! My men have already loaded our car cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Oh, yes. Very well. To the sea. Raise anchor and set sail. I accidentally hit the button. Promets and money. Our destination is Dread Kill All Key. Wait up! Oh, hell yeah! This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger, reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. I don't think it's this man saying that. I think it's the other dude. X not black is on board the vessel. Maybe it was me. Chapter five. The key to pirates. It's a keyblade. It opens any lock. Woohoo! Month, star, day, XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. As I get all up in their guts. As commander of the ship. Month of start, day XX, another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzled me. As if they are blessing our voyage, Flavio thinks the most hard. 
There's an owl out on the ocean. Someone save that poor creature. Day, X music. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow sunrise. <laughs> Whew. It's like this. It's like the streamer knew how much fucking chatting was in this chapter, and so she's kind of been dreading it or something. Best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue stash is barely four times as whacked. So let's hear the fireworks go boom. At the boom basso boom festival. I don't really know if those words are like actually in beat with the song or not, but uh, you know. Now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. I then this right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of trash. Oh, 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 I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. But even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Right, you started again. Tale of bravery, was right? We had this one yesterday. There's to escape to. Just have to listen until he's finished. Your interrupted bit story absolutely loses it, too. Why is the... What? What's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oh, I messed the Flavio. Awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. Ship stopped. This giant, massive, absolutely throbbing. What? Huh? Stopped, you say to me? After interrupting a story of passion and fury. It's your job to keep the ship moving, yes? So take care of it. See no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you, I'm not so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I don't think Bobbery had that line in the original, but I kind of like the addition of it. Investigate right quick. Wait a tick. Makes a little more sense than this guy just immediately going up to the top of the ship and being like, Oh, why'd we stop then, eh? Gavda. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping minute, you scallywags. Kind of a fucked up thing to say in a place where Goombas are real. Quit shoving, eh? Working over here. So quit shoving. Core blimey. I don't want to change now because I think the voice would hurt my throat a little more to do, but in hindsight, I think this guy sounds exactly like Yengis from Dragon Quest VIII. Even though that's not necessarily, you know, like a pirate voice or a sailor, I think that's just who he is. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Oh god, they are here. Ooh, spooky ooh, crap. The pirate ghosts. Oh, they're brewers for true. What do we do? We gotta get out of here. Do, do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we're all having. Oh, wait. Now quickly, move the boat. If only Luigi were here! Famous ghost hunter Luigi! Ghostly ooing thing! Are you really the savage pirate king? Hey! Help me! Walk up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy. What? Oh, God! Probably no! If we could form an orderly line without shoving right after. I think this is also new where they're just like knocking people off one by one like this. That's kind of fun. We must get out of here. 
Abandoned ship, every rich marvelous merchant for himself. Ooh. I also don't remember them showing like the ship actually sinking like that. That's fun. Fortune from disaster, the kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island, Keelhaul Key, was our intended destination all along, no? And yet, we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. Pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. Ships flotsam washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. Like this salty dick. Guardian can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea. But then what, I ask? De Boobaroos. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Poor sweet S is Flavian. At least these shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Barbary in the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Oh my god! Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Game looks pretty good. I am hopeful for it. Because I've never actually played any of the Mario and Luigi games. So, you know. If it's a good one, that would be cool. So I have a good new one to play, Lamau. Howdy, Ross. Hope you're having a good day. Ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. No? Could have swore there was a star piece right here. Alright, I'm mildly worried about doing this because I've been spoiled on a thing or two. But where's my old bestest buddy in the whole wide world? Yay! That's a rare wacka. Don't think you see many of his kind anymore, nope. If you whack a wacka, they drop a wacka bone. Those are supposed to be delicious. Fetch a high price in gourmet auctions too, yep. Super precious delicacies. Whacking defenseless creature to get one. You'd never do that, right, Mario? Whack who? I'm whack. Got some good weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad can happen on a day like today. Whack a do. Whack who? Direct hit. Yay. Touch my was, was when I bought everything Smash Bros. Ultimate had. That was expensive? Yeah, I've never bought any of the DLC for that game. As good of a as good of a Smash Bros. as it was. Just never got around to playing a ton of it. Flavio Patch are in a huge fight. What about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw those ghosts. What you talking about? You were the ones quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did, did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops. Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. It's right fine by me. Can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. Oh god, the ghosts again. Captain Stash, the ghosts are back. Ooh. The streamer forgot about this fight. Or maybe she would have kept Goomba out and not Vivian. Mario, front and center. This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. Nice full crowd, though. Hell yeah. Let's go. 
shout out to the no star power I apparently have for whatever reason. Ouchie. surprised it doesn't. Oh, I think they might have seven health. They might literally have just enough health to live. Nope, they have eight. Okay. Pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Attack is three, defense is zero. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't mama teach you that? I think you should know something horrible is likely to happen if you attack it with fire. Like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. Get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard them. I don't actually know what happens if you hit it with fire. Ouch. I also need to double check whether I got the, the super... Uh, feast move or not. I either got that or the uh, the art attack one. Okay, we got art attack. Got it. I think we get the, the sweet feast after this one, which is just a better sweet treat. Oh yeah, Coops, let's go. Oh yes. I gotta say, Flavio's little voice lines a lot deeper than I ever would have guessed. I, I think out of literally every character in this game, Flavio probably has the most set-in-stone voice in my head for him, which is exactly the voice I'm doing. Or at least exactly the voice I'm doing from what I hear. Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what it must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I broke no argument. Yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you could handle the exploration of the island. That is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We can count on you. Mm. Yeah, those ice storms might not be a bad buy, but... Oh, isn't there... Is this where the star piece is? Well, I swear there's one, like, right here somewhere. Oh, we do have Ms. Mouse who can, like, find treasure for us. That's, like, her thing. Hmm, is it like a... Oh, here it is. Like, I know there's one somewhere right here near this intro thing. Yeah, there's something else. I'll admit, I kind of forgot she could do this because, again... Didn't know you could get her as a partner when I was a kid like this, because I was bad at the game. Or at least bad about a bunch of things with the game. Oh, you know what? I do have in coupons that I could pull out of the fucking storage and snag. Sleep well, Captain. I think she's got like a. What's her fucking base attack again? Let me go into the actual menu. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. That's not what I wanted. How do I. Oh, I just move right here. Okay. Yeah, I 
think right now everyone makes content contact with him except for Koops or has other moves I don't want to use for some reason or another. Oh, but actually, we won't be fighting the ghost for a little bit, so let's bring Goombella back out. I keep forgetting I need to hammer the bushes as well. I also need to remember that my jumps are better with all the attack ups I have. Alright, it should do like 8 damage instead of 6. Yeah. I don't know if the, the spike shield badge lets me jump on the ghost flames. Oh! Look at that. One second. I think the dogs are doing something they shouldn't be. Okay, I'm back. So at some point, they managed to get, like, a patch of carpet kind of torn loose. And now every now and then, one of them will flip it back up and start chewing and trying to rip it apart. And of course, it's, like, right outside my door, so I gotta be the one to try and keep an ear out and listen for it. Shell. I wonder what I'm gonna drop when my inventory is full, Laval. I forgot that's a bad water. Was it in the barrel? I don't remember. Been a little bit. Wow, look at all the toads and one Luigi. This wouldn't have been a bad time to art attack him. Lamau! Lamau! experience points. Look at all those chickens. God, I do love the fact that they, like, made remixes of the, the fight theme, so it's not just the same one the whole fucking game again. Mm. 
Mini Mr. Mini! Get that fucking courage shell out of here. Next time I'm back in, for lack of a better word, town, I gotta fucking store some things. I do still love how the uh, the jungle piranha plants look. So vivid and colorful. The putrid piranhas. Rather poisonous piranha plant. Color is totally sickly. HP is 8, attack is 3, defense is 0, bites, and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath rank table 4. If you have poison, your HP will slowly go down, so you know, try not to. like up so very slightly late there. Oh god, the poison's killing me, not but not faster than I can heal. I'm in eternal agony. Lomo! He engamed himself, the fool! First, not Han Solo, but me, Mario. Take that, George Lucas. How much damage does Vivian's little punch thing do now? As I look at my controller and try to remember where all the buttons are, so I'm not used to the Switch controller still. Alright, four and five. Got it. Which is also a shame, because if it tried to bite Mario, then it would have, uh, died right there. <laughs> do I still have the curse on? I hope I do. I should. This guy still falls off all the time in this remake. Oh, did they add like a little get up here faster thing? Hell yeah. That was always very annoying in the original having to fucking do this little jump with the, the Yoshi guy every time. With Krillin. God damn it. I do feel like depth perception. A little harder in the remake. Okay, that's how I just slipped off. Spring could also have used a little more love, but... I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth too much on that. Should have thought about grabbing that. Got him. I 
just got too busy dancing there. Almost missed the, the action command. Why would I have looked silly? Ghost blast it all. Blast that Pito fan. My blubbery is blotches. Is that Maho over there? Or a live old boy? Came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. What about you, Admiral? Gotta get out of here too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghost ghouls busy while you get out of here. Ghouls and ghosts. Get it? Nintendo games. That's an order. Let me do what I must do. Go away with you. Ouch. Oof. Owie. Ouch. Fuck. Help! They're stronger than I thought. They're beating the shit out of me. Right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? I don't remember what his voice was. I mean, this new friend of ours who we've never met before. Please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Excuse me, but I'd better be going also. I don't remember what fucking voice he had. I also like the floppy ear in this version. They're looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Maybe pretty obvious to who you who I really am, but no telling Mario. Or else. Looking at the screen? Does that make sense to anyone here? I think I'm supposed to head back, but... You know what, we'll just head back. My inventory's full anyway. I know there's crap I want to grab over there. Should have done it before hitting that bush and losing the end coupon, but whatever. Save, like, 12 coins later on. Who cares? I know I'll get, like, 50 to 100 for beating a boss. Coins don't matter anymore. Uh, I do think it's a cool move. There we go. Oma Omo Shin Deli. Nani? None thought. Anyway. This place gives good experience when you're not over leveled to hell. I think Nintendo was also, I, and I think I've said this in previous parts, I think Nintendo was kind and made the, uh, the level curve a little easier. So you don't lose, you don't start getting less experience as fast as you used to. Anyway, that's part of why Vivian's one of my favorite characters in this game. I love fire, and also she's got a very strong move that hits everyone with fire. You love to see it. It's a shame that the, like, next chapter, they give you a lot of enemies that you shouldn't hit with fire. It's a little mean of Nintendo, but... That's mostly in the second half of the chapter, so we got a little bit. experience let's go die you 
got me an FP back. Nice. I won't have to rest the end either. Love to see it. Working out perfectly. I will do FP on this one just because we are getting to the point where, like, using it a couple times does seem to rinse through all of it. Honestly, should maybe do two FP bumps, but we're gonna stick with just one for now. We're gonna do a little bit more badge points, probably. I really was gonna sleep at the end, though, but no reason to now. I'm gonna save, though. Just in case. I might want this in a second, but I don't quite remember. still alive well we have some fortune left such relief for flavio had some jungle beast was snacking on you well everyone is accounted for now wait one moment am i wrong or are we still one man short Th that's right Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from ghosts please we've got to go back and help him what lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives, but fortitude. Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. So again, don't know if I needed to come back here for that or not, but... I always remember going back for that. So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. See, and this is part of why I was so happy we get the spring, because otherwise I'd have to do that annoying jump with Yoshi again. Already. And hey, spoilers, I'm going to have to do it at least one more time, so... You know. Vivian was punching like the top of that piranha plant, but okay. Weird flex. No, oh, there's two of them. Alright, still got the curse at least. That was a very unnecessary. Here we, here we go! Momo! Got him! So as a reminder, those guys were around in the glitz pit, and you can get them to just keep spawning like that, and they are a very good source of experience if you want to do a little bit of farming for it. Because this is when they naturally pop up in the game, and it's like two whole chapters later. Now that we're actually here. Oh, the end coupon's back. Neat. Speaking of fucking annoying ass Yoshi jumps. Love how, like, simplistic and cartoony they left this. Hell yeah. To be honest, it ain't tasty. Oh, I just ditched the hot dog. I want a Koopa Tees. Oh, you know what? Listen, I'm trying to keep Mini Mr. Mini for a meme, but...
I am once again not remembering what that fucking water bottle off to the side is. Because I always forget. I always forget how you're supposed to grab it, because I don't think you can fall off to the side of the bridge. Right, because this is like too far back. Oh, there's just grass there, so you can't. Sorry, Vivian. No. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. I think you literally just have to come back for that later. I think you get, like, an actual quest to grab it, and then you can finally get it. So this is how a legend of the sea meets his end. Eh? <laughs> Die, Coops. Promise not on purpose. There we go. You know, if they're distracted, I might as well get... All the damage in I can. Ah, uh, Mr. Stylish. No. It also just like hard attacked, but you know. Let's go, Coops! Only three, huh? God damn it, Coops. I believe in you and everything. <coughs> the pain of it all. Mario, old boy. Ugh. Guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. Must thank you for taking me out to see you one last time. But there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might have just one sip before my final voyage, get me that chocolate cola, oh boy. Ah, uh, sure thing. I didn't find it, Bobbery! Sorry! Cool skull rock, huh? There's, there's a spot in the eye that looks like it could hold something. Shaping this end, it looks like something I've seen somewhere. Did I ask, Coops? Anyway, let's go, Vivian. Hell yeah! Destroy the bridge later? Is that what it is? But yeah, what I was talking about earlier when I mentioned the, uh... The fuzzy up top is, for whatever reason, in the original game... That, like, pink fuzzy... Just love to, for some reason, path down here and then get stuck. I think they might have just, like, wandered around in the overworld more than in this one. Or they just specifically, like, limited that one this time. 
But it was always funny because it would always, like, try to get back up, so it would just, like, start fucking humping the wall. Trying to jump back high enough to get all the way up top. And it was, like, consistent. I think I wasn't sure where it was actually supposed to be for the longest time, just because it was always down here. And I think because it was, like, so far away from its spawn, it would, like, aggro onto you and get, like, the little exclamation mark over its head, but it would never, like, move towards you, because it would always just be trying to get back to its starting spot. Lamau! I wish it had spawned one more, but what can you do? It would be, like, right here, and it would just be doing this the whole time. You fool! Oh, it didn't give me the spin hammer? Bullshit. Whoops, wrong button. Are these piranha plants, like, actually smart? I feel like the only time I've seen them do the bite attack was when Mario wasn't up front so they wouldn't get zapped. Are they actually, like, the smartest enemy in the game? For some reason? So yeah, in case you were wondering, part of why I was so happy everything was giving me experience still is all these fights I have to do back and forth right here. Love this game. There's a lot of very small backtracking sections like this, though. And they've alleviated some of it in the remake, but there's only so much they can do without completely changing things. Should just move on. I think I'm gonna skip the next one, but Flavio, have you seen any soda around here? Chocola cola? Well, why would I have that? Well, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? Uh -huh. The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish. So what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocolo Cola is part of my, er, uh, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I'll need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not bulge. I uh, bulge? Budge. Sorry! Flavio is a little distracted and thinking about other things right now. Like those sweet, sweet overalls. I am sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. If there's some reason to give him the mango instead. What will you give me in exchange for this delectable Chocola Cola? Hmm? I'm the ed editor of Foppish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. Coconut. 
<laughs> not coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliche. Well, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for a foraging non gourmand such as you. Let me look that up because I'm curious now. TTYD give Flavio mango! I'm not seeing anything about giving him the mango instead. Give my regards to the Admiral. That's not it! Whoopsie. I have brought this up to remind you that I have the fancy skull gem, just in case that becomes plot important on your next little trip. You know. Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all the fine fizziness. Chata, I have something for you to swizzle on. If you catch my drift. And by that, of course, I mean, aha, uh -huh, my peanuts. Sheepy. One of these days I'm actually gonna beat Overlord, I swear. And there's one game I still haven't beaten. It'll be fun for a stream again, you know. You are new Overlord! Sheepy. Oh no, they gave the other person the suck. It should have been me, not him. I should have put the other coconut away. Oh well, I need to go back to base anyway. So keep in mind, this would have been an extra two times I would have had to do that stupid little Yoshi jump. Ah, uh, that distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it. Sniffer? This glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Oh, I was about to do a little salute, and then I remembered that I'm VTubing, you wouldn't be able to see it. So just imagine I've got salute. Uh, Mario, I think... I really think Bobbery's just sleeping after all that. Yeah, I'm sure of it, actually. I was so sad for him. Whack him awake, will you? Hell yeah! Vivian immediately resorting to pot violence. Hell yeah. What? what? Yobby, yobby. Pirates! Where are those pirates? Poor Bobber, he's still pretty shaken up. What now? Oh, oh yeah, old boy. It's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Capital. Bobber, you're not in the afterlife. You're still alive and well. Uh... This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Alright. I guess that is good, because you're here, not, you know, my dead wife, who I very much miss. Not that I don't like you, Mario, but just, you know. I miss my wife, Mario. I miss her a lot. Now I recall, Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. 
I'm sure my sea lakes and explosive personality would be rather useful, eh? Hell yeah, Bubbery! Uh, hey, believe it or not, your Babom partner fucking explodes. Woohoo! Up to higher elevations. Oh, now that I can attack towards and away from the screen, I wonder if I can throw Bobbery up to, up to get that item. X to trigger his explosion right away. Oh, that's new. I like that. I don't have to, like, time his explosion just right. I do also like Bobbery as a partner. He's a good one. The only partner I'm really not huge on is Flurry. And Koops is decidedly okay. I kind of like all the other ones. Uh, nope. Well, it almost felt like I can get him up here. Nope. He's just catching a little bit of a lip there. Tired of doing these fights. TBH, damn it. You know what? Fuck it. I don't think we've seen Art Attack yet. Behold! The new job for Final Fantasy XIV Pictomancer! Now watch as I throw myself having sex with your mother. I wonder if Nintendo lets you use touch controls for the Switch for that. Because that would make it so broken. Being able to just like draw on the screen with your finger. Kind of really hope they do just because that the thought is hilarious to me. Here's a coupon. Let me put away my other coconut because I don't think I've done that. And it does literally nothing but waste the spot for now till we cook it. Hey, Flavio. It is Barbary. Welcome back to you. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. Must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard that is for me? To sit here in safety and worry so much? Do not know what is out there, waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence, girl. I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to... In any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke about earlier. There is a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull cut into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Flavio, are you not... Why don't you know what else smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Smells like low tide. You know, just something with that rock, skull rock. Say that's where the treasure is. Anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. 
As such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from an invasion. Captain Marion, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Well, yes, uh, Admiral, you see, I... Well, yes, you have a point. Then let's decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square, and what? No, not fair. Flavio hates you all. <laughs> Perfect. What do you have to say about this person whose voice I forget? To investigate. Now. Yeah. I love Flavio jumping with us. He gave me in the original. So this would be like in total the fourth time you have to do that little Yoshi jump in the OG. <laughs> well, it's still annoying how fast these enemies respawn around here. At least I don't have to swap to Yoshi, hop on his back, do the little jump, swap back. Although, granted, it's nice to be on top of him for that little screen just because you can blitz across the whole thing. Behold. Now what is all this? A dead end. Taunting Flavia with its dead endedness. What is this? I think this is the Skull Rock Barbary blabbered about. Positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let us plunge into this puzzle. Hey Flavio, give me your fucking rock. Singing to while away the time. Not like Flavio is scared or anything. Do you know something? Never been able to know that song's meaning. Ugh, I might really have to fucking look at this again. It fits something in the, in the spot in its eye. Don't suppose Flavio's gem might go in the eye, space of the eye, right? Yeah, I sure do think that. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something, is this correct? What could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? Chocola Cola, baby! What? You want me to give you the Chocola Cola? Ah, I must scoff it. Just too much, little man. Except, wait, what he gave that to you, you rat? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it? This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. I suppose it is all right, because I am Flavio. You have such ludicrous love. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. Slap on the rock. I hope you are paying attention to his little song to know what you're supposed to do. All right, they let you enter that code in a lot faster, which is also nice. At the Boom Basa Boom Festival. Yatta. Oh, such excitement. The cave entrance. What? Oh, my skull gem! Mario, what were you thinking? That gem was part of the house of Flavio. Woo! Oh, what a happy day. I have my skull gem back. My jolliness has no end. 
Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. You cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You do understand, yes? Let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? It's a bold move on his part to head back on his own, but I ain't gonna stop him. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Alright, meanwhile, so the actual meat and potatoes of the chapter. <laughs> Save after all that. Don't have to worry about as much dialogue now as well. Ooh. Mostly can be a lot of spooky ooze and the occasional partner remark on them. Hammer! It's how about time? Chapter Warcraft 3. Oh no. And nothing else. <laughs> Lava Bubble. Flame Spear. HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is 0. HP and attack power may be different from my members, but otherwise it's the same. Uh, don't touch it. And don't hit it with fire. So you can use explosions and ice. Though. Get frozen, bitches! Aww. Explode. Not quite enough damage, huh? There we go. Figured I needed to start trying for some super guards already. Been slacking. Look at that lever up there. So I'm pretty sure in the original, at least, you could just use Yoshi to get through that fast enough, but now that you have to build up momentum with him, I'm not sure if you can. Oh god! Not a lot of stuff here has, like, any defense or super high health, although those cannons kind of do. But everything starts dealing some decent damage here. Other bullet bills do have some defense, but it also has, you know, two health. Shouldn't have jumped, but you know. Yeah, it works. Oh no, it's gonna rust! Whew. Yep. 
A Bell Blaster. Can that shoots bullet bills? HP is 5 and defense is 2. Doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. Take out the Bell Blaster first. Trust me, honey, those things will shoot at us. You're so annoying. Bills don't give any experience, that's a shame. Alright, I think we only have one enemy left to scan for a while. But we're probably gonna pop up right here. I'm gonna be annoying, I have to swap back to Kumbella Lamau. Yep, there they are, Lamau. And at least I can do it outside of battle. I was hitting the wrong button to hammer. Lamau. My brain reverted to how I have the GameCube controller set up. The bulky ball. But it's huge! Hmm. It fuses lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. Don't mind it taking itself out of battle, but the explosion hurts us too. When it powers up, that attack power is 8, so watch out! Fire and explosions will make them blow up immediately, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. And run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. It takes more than one turn, though. Of course. Never when I need you. I don't know if I'm just, like, super unlucky in this playthrough, or if they've just made that bullshit and not helpful. Oh, that's not good. I never forgot they did that. <laughs> Worth a try. Like that. It's Rock Kirby. Uh, Lamau? Oh, there was one more turn of it. Got it. Yep, that's a shape. Ouchie! have a little full heal box right there, though, so, like, you know. Stick the landing. It didn't really matter doing it like that, but whatever. Tired. 
entirely know why. Not like I slept well last night. God, hopefully we manage to get through this chapter though. Still got a couple hours in the stream unless, you know. Oh right, I can just do that now. Well, how? the little flying buzzy beetle scan or not. Okay. I needed someone who can jump anyway, so like, you know. Buzzy. HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Need to fire an explosion. Flip it over, its defense goes down to 0, so jump on it first. Got him. Let's get that done this turn. Save some time. Ooh, turn back. Ooh, go no further, or you will never leave. Bet. Oh, look at all these coins. This will go Ms. Mouse for you. I didn't mean to hit you with that hammer. I was gearing up to spin, but... She ignores defense. do as much damage as I was hoping there. I don't think I have had her upgraded though, so that's probably why. Yeah, because she's doing the base 2 damage. That tracks. Ah, oh, so close. Apparently I don't really have to do this that fast though. I kind of... I don't know what the stylish is. Oh, the defense piercing will help here, though. Are you doing your little shit? Okay. Like how that ignores defense. On the way back. Oh, I think the mice move like that in like Yoshi's Island and stuff. That's cute. Spooky little shy guy face or something. Woohoo! 
I swear they bring back these kinds of puzzles just off enough for you to completely forget about this and just, like, feel like an idiot for a little bit. supposed to just stay standing on that and then remember that little shine sprite i may have never gotten that Fucking kidding me, game? <sighs> Alright, one more time. I was tempted to snag Yoshi for this, but may have also just jumped a little early. I didn't even tell that didn't have the lid. I was just I just felt like there was something else there, like gut feeling. that much here, Bobbery. Love you both, but... I almost killed that thing on my own. One, one more FP, and we'll start leveling up the BP again. Oh, okay. Once again, a little bit of depth perception problems there. All them skill bearings. You know what? up a little bit. It only starts in like the most awkward spot. Oops. It moves so much faster than in the OG. It kind of made this a little more busted than it already was. God, and one fire guy in here, huh? Dick move. Yeah, missed it. Me 
missed it. And I missed. Oh, well, this will kill. I killed anyway if I block the damage, but yeah. Just being better at the reaction commands. But the timing's all off now, from what I'm used to with fucking 20 years of, you know, muscle memory. I had to make sure that guy didn't use the item this whole time until now, when it's totally fine if it does. Oh no, its attack is higher. Whatever am I gonna do? Come out! God, we already have 15 more star power. Level up so many more times this season there. Yes. She's cracked! Hell yeah, fake memories of the game from having played before. Let's go! I actually use Coops a lot right now. How many fucking shine sprites do I have right now? 13 shine sprites! Alright. So once again, I'm pretty sure you can just use Vivian to get through here if you want, but uh, I think that's the intended way right there. I think this is better if you spin hammer it, but at least in the OG. I make that 14 shine sprites. Now you need three to level up a partner, so if we get one more, we can level up partners five times, which is actually very good. Back. Actually, I should have actually done it the other way around and had Blobbery kill that guy this time because then Mario would be able to finish off the flame guy in one hit next turn. The red fire guy, I should specify. Oh. Uh oh, the bomb's on fire. He's gonna blow for real seas this time. Uh, nope. Swap. Explode. I think they made like a much cooler sound effect right there. That should like instantly kill the lava plume guys. That'd be such a fun little, like, touch. get that off? That is so the side hammer, so the fact that it's not giving me the super hammer is such bullshit. Oh, I can do, like, sweet treat right here, then. Oh no, the bucket hit the crowd! Not my glorious crowd. Just a little bit of a sweet treat.
Oh, missed those two Mario heals, which was the main reason I was doing this. That's a shame. Oh, I'm out there, like, considered weak enough I auto-kill them. Nice. I don't think we've got double experience a single time this playthrough. Maybe once. Let's hit a keep tweeting the cannons. There we go. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Save a turn this time. Not be silly. Vivian for this fight. God, it's so tempting to just blow them all up. Eh, fuck it. Yatta, Lobel. Whee! I think I've missed that jump before, and it's very upsetting. Oh, I remember right. Okay. I was like, shouldn't there be? Ooh, nice. 
down D up. Yark. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. Thought no one would ever come. I had given up. Ooh. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked in here forever. Bored, stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've bent? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out? <laughs> the little nod he gives. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh. All I wanted to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped in. Is that so much to ask? No. Hey, what are you waiting for? Just open already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It All already. Some ghost here has it. Just beat him, get in, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. Good pull with farce. I should have actually power hammered this one so it can't deal damage this turn instead of power hammering the next one. But no luck. There we go. Who cares if you can just super block? Time. Let's go, baby! It's just that easy. They've made that so much easier in this version than the original. Oh, well, now. Alright, buddy, let's get this curse going. Whoop de doo, you got the key. Party time. Now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem. Weehee, fools. Dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I am so evil, bathe in the foul, awful... Wait, what was this? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy. Be cursed. Boogie boogie loo. Now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Hey, that's maybe too much. Are you all right? That didn't really hurt, did it? Good. Squirm and suffer like socially awkward words. Now on in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. Stand on one of these boat panels. Panel will feel your curse and glow. Stand here, slime. Feel the pain. Press Y. Become a paper boat. I think I'm now realizing that part of why I like Undertale and Deltarune so much is the writing reminds me of this game. <laughs> Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. Float on the water. People will laugh at you. You'll be spit upon. It only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. You can control your paper boat self with left stick. Now you need to be the master of your shameful buoyancy. Okay. Yeah, to unboat yourself, approach the panel and press Y. Hey, 
pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. And hey, listen, thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Well, I say that cursed chap seems rather a bit of all right, eh? Whee! Boat time! Is there like a little star piece right here? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can be in like water, water like this, but. Is there something the other way? I always forget with this. Raggy. Oh, okay. That's new. I wasn't expecting that one. Yes, Ms. Mouse. I kind of wish I upgraded her now. Wish I had piercing smash on now, but oh well. We got this. Oh, Lamau! Stop the fuse. Nice. I think if the water, like, falls on them, too, that'll also defuse them. Was on the boat panel, was there? Was in there? Hold on. I just not see the boat panel. Do I come through that later? Because hey, that you know that next section. Oh yeah, I guess I just go through that little barricade back there, palisade, whatever you want to call it. There's a word for it. The gate. Because hey, that like suspicious cave there in the water and all these waves and stuff. Now that I can turn into a boat, maybe it's because I go in the water there at some point. Well, now. Funny how that one works. I think I go this way? Or do I go up first and then... So I think I need the lever first, which should be over here? Whew, it has been a minute since I've played this. Hello, Mark. Howdy, Hootrin. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, I guess I don't do this yet. I did, was supposed to go up top. Damn it. Just remembered. Glad you're doing alright. You excited for the, the dawn trails and such? my week off of work for it. Nice. I was gonna say, I'm getting close to where I am tempted to pick up my old character again and stream in it. But, uh... I think the whole can't play that game too much this week is kind of derailing those plans for me personally for a minute. No, you aren't. Am too. Or at least I was, until, you know, all this happened. I think I looked and the alt character I'm playing is like five or six quests before, uh... Where the the main character was at. And then, you know, I need to take a minute to play that character off stream as well so that I can fucking sort through my inventory and figure out what the fuck I was doing like three years ago or whenever I played it. Found out I've got I've got some of my crafting pl classes the highest they've ever been, and that's very exciting. Two more years till you stream 14 again. We'll see about that. It really depends how well the servers handle Dawn Trail and whether I, as a free player, will be allowed to play within the next few months. Oh, can I? I feel like I always do this and I can't de-boat over here and I have to fucking swim back and do it there. Nope. Shit. Okay, hold on. Always do that. You're supposed to just, like, jump off right here, and I never do that for some reason. Dodging the AFK auto kick out? Yeah. You son of a bitch. It's your fault. It is that I'm proud. Bro, that will move me in a square. And go for a fancier shape than that. Then feel like find figuring out like a pentagram or something. Feel like they made this a little more dramatic in the remake. Ghost must be near us somewhere. A Fortnite AFK macro. Oh, it's got some history, it does it. Alright, 
Where exactly am I? Okay, I'm here. So is there anything off to the left before I go the correct way? Does not appear to be. Those battle pass levels while I sleep. I do want to thank uh, Dawn Trail for coming out when it does because it gives me an excuse to play Elden Ring off stream instead of 14 so that I can hopefully access that DLC soonish. Lobao? She says soonish like she isn't is like close to halfway at to accessing it. Hey, something's coming up there, floating on water. Can't breathe, guys. I know, is that a boat? Hey, over here, save us, please. I do always love this where you get closer and they're like, oh, it's just a fucking sick little paper boat. What the fuck? Kill Moog next stream. If it was a long enough stream, I could. I don't know if I want to stream that long, though. <laughs> Can probably take out Radon next stream, though. Depending. Since that's also apparently a requirement. And use Comet Azura easy. Then I'd have to spec into intelligence, and I don't know if I want to do that. I've already got all them sweet, sweet faith levels. So I can use my fucking sweet black fire sword. Those toads have been like standing like that for years and years or whatever. Frankie and Francesca. Whoops. Almost didn't make that jump either. 64. I have 80 in. God. The fucking glass cannoning happening there. Gotta respect it. Oh, I think I hit exactly level 69 off stream today before I stopped playing. So shout out to that. One shot or get one shotted. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. Came here looking for that pirate treasure, but well. Oh, did they add, like, a store guy right here? Is that who's on the right there? So that you can buy stuff mid-chapter again? Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. Frankie's here, too. After my dad forgave us, we set out. I can't do the fucking voice right now. My brain is fried. Ship we were on got a little too close to this island. Now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. So, by the way, why are you here? You told me Daddy had you come here to take us back. Oh! Is a crystal star in the pirate's treasure? I think the treasure's right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. I'm sure, you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him on one for me. <laughs> you know, I have some f real fine products for you, the, the discriminating fella. Here's some real basic shit, just in case you need it before the boss fight or whatever. <laughs> I 
Well, off I go to fight the Pirate King Ghost. Can't believe Luffy fucking died. Blow. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way and, uh... I have followed this path, finally caught up with you, then. Just, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. Pirate King Cortez is in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Why, well, no, I sure am. So is Grotus. What did you mean by that? Who? Has Mario heard that name yet, or...? Little unclear. You know, I'll get that four health back. God, I already almost have fucking 300 coins again. Spoiled. Ooh, you ignored my warning. Ooh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Submit! Isn't there... Definitely not buying time for this ad to start and finish that is supposedly starting soon and has been for the last two minutes. Nope, nothing. I am so ready to kick his ass. Look how angry I am. I think everyone I've seen chatting in here doesn't get ads, so. Ooh. Come into my... Ha! <laughs> Enough! I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm a pirate, Blasting. Pirates do not mourn. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and you, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Abla, speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo ho 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 ho! You love me, Cortez. Get tired, Chief. Like, what a much more intimidating boss fight than literally everything else that has happened in this game so far. You have Goombella out for the start of the fight so that she can scan him. Silly me. Bit of a waste of turn there. That's Cortez! He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. HP is 20, attack is 4, and defense is 1. HP may seem low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. He has tons of different attacks, he's as tough and scary as he looks. So just keep damaging him, and sooner or later he'll go down for good. Give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Ouchie! Also, like takes up so much more of the stage in this one I feel he's so much closer to us in the fight this has seemed incredibly broken so far Woohoo! fuck I think what happened there was I hit diagonal like that would actually work and so I just moved left instead of down and right or I mean it moved right instead of down and right Good enough, though. Attack is boosted. Defense is boosted. Did you feel something? Completely unnecessary curse, but you know what? This number will be funny to me. Ooh, that's a plus seven to attack total. Twelve damage. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Cortez. I'm about to fucking clown on you like all the other bosses in this remake. They made power lift stronger and they really shouldn't have. Oh god, and he's frozen? Oh, I'm so sorry, Cortez. I love you. Not that it mattered, but still. The disrespect. Oh, I thought that was his last bit of health there. Alright. Still, that fucking chunked his first two phases. And I could do it again if I really wanted. Anyway, it would be really funny if I happen to have a partner that completely trivializes this phase or something. Provided the streamer can remember the fucking switch buttons, which she did not. Still worked out, though. Take much more of this. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Submit! And if I had a nickel for every time a boss in this game consumed the audience to gain power, I would maybe be able to pay two people to not show up to the show and live. Provided it only took a nickel to do so. Foggy, you might miss me, ghost man. You didn't miss me, you prick. Right, let's try this again and see if I can remember the fucking switch buttons. Alright, they picked the buttons I specifically remembered, so that was nice of them. And that was Cortez, the pirate king. Double experience? Damn it. Not a single time this game. Lame. Lame as fuck. Would have leveled if it did. No! My treasure! I am done for. You <laughs> stupid! You are foolish indeed, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit to endures tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? In serio? You want this? Oh, yeah. This little rock over here. You serious? Oh, that's no big deal. Here, take it. I need one or two extra gems for. Did not really like that one anyway. I love all the, like, little tiny animations they added in this. It's like the little touches, you know? Like, in the original, he just floated over to the star, but was, like, staring at Mario the whole time still. I, I, I just the little, like, back-and-forth looking at him, like, this fucking thing? 
A little shit rock. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the crystal star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. Only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's big bulbous nose? Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you. And now, get the fuck off my boat. And I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the pirate King Cortez. Flavio. Throw you on your ass. Get the fuck out. Love Cortez. If I remember correctly, they also added in a lot of the, like, little bits of Spanish he says now. Or at least I think they added more. I'm like, shout out to that. Always a fun little bit. There's like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you really something. You've got time to be impressed by her own, so you've got time to think of a way out of here. Um, all that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. We could break down this wall think we could escape. I guess. That's not much help. Breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? Well, do any of you have anything better to do? Fucking start digging, bitches. Nah, just kidding. Just like I said, well, me first. On right, everybody, let's get out of here. Damn, cave air just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Save their lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Hello, Wacka. It's also pretty darn nice, too. Wickety wackety wackadoo. Alright, you live today. <laughs> ah, Mario. Welcome back to my stalwart captain. Have you found the treasure? How was that little expedition faring? Hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure? You beat him, but you left all the treasure there. What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Can I agree? B brother! You! What are you doing here? I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island I came looking. A ghost attacked us and our boat just sank, but I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? <laughs> the fucking music like petering down like, uh, well. Hold on, huh? What was that? Sploosh! Sploosh! Kaboom! What is that? Sploosh! Pardon me, guys, but uh, I mean. <laughs> so sorry to surprise you. No, wait, no need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh, yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oi, now. Ain't that good old Four Eyes? And yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Whatever. I'll spill it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... <laughs> Perfect. Ugh, the great Lord Crump. Oh man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind in the shadows, ruining this voyage. It hurts to be this good. 
Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Head over to Crystal Storm. Before the streamer comes up with a new voice for me, as she keeps forgetting the previous one. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Sploosh! Four eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people, we must flee! Look, we're sailors, we're not much good for any fin without a ship. Wait. I have it. I am a genius. We have a ship at hand. And a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain, remember what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. Legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Mario, what are you talking about? There's no way Screamer's throat starting to hurt. Kareem, you! Fucking hope he creams me next. I may be a coward and a cad, but I still need you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. Pardon me, don't mind me. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, Cortez! I'm back! I've heard you'll cream people. Can you do that for me? Ooh! Oh, what? Let's go again. Did you forget something? C -c -c Cortez, I, I have to speak to you. C -c -c could you lend me your ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? Who are you anyway? <laughs> my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble. We could really use your ship. Avatina Guard. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent this ship for pleasure, ple pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magic. It cannot move now. Magic. Magic? Mat? That's a weird one. It's been a little too long since Spanish. The key to powering this ship is the mystical skull gem. The skull gem? You, you mean this? You! You! Crank that skull gem? You have the skull chip. Uh, y yes I do. So, all right, what do you say to this proposition then? Take the skull gem, hand it down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. Must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. Should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trance you again. While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find him. How would that be? You rattled my bones, Senor Peacock. Bueno, da igual. Fine, take it. I accept your pardon. Now be very careful with that gym. Check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no? You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Hum. Now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. It's getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyhow. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. I feel like that's never also really addressed in this game, even in like later chapters or anything we do unleash a unstoppable like demon ghost pirate upon the world and just that's just like a thing now <laughs> like the... we never deal with that again he just kind of hangs out and taxis us back and forth oh i think he says there's maybe like one line of dialogue cortez has about how he's gonna put off the whole like pillaging and destroying everything but 
Yippee! Feel free to thank me for any time. Uh, you sail! Fight the boss, Mario! secret panel here somewhere i feel like there is actually like a shine sprite somewhere hold on anything in here don't think there's anything to here got it no treasure whatsoever in here i wasn't actually doing that for the meme i was very i swore there was like an invisible chest with a shine sprite in there or something Too. All for one, guys. Here's that old flabby old fancy pants. Blah, 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 blah. Enough. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. I know they just kept firing for like no reason. Got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss of boom? Fire cannons here without my permission. You have nerf, mortal. Hell yeah. A lot more dramatic than the, the original. The rock in the boat. Oh, that's cool. I, I don't remember if that was in the original either, the, like, spikes popping up with the cannons underneath it. I do love that, though. That's some style right there. Also, shout out to the gal with the vampire VTubers. Like, two of my favorite characters in this game being the fucking shadow witch trans woman and also the evil pirate ghost. Hold out. Goth enough for me? Maybe. I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. It is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. The streamer once again forgot to put a Goombella up front for the boss fight for the quick scan, so oopsie. <laughs> Gonna turn you guys to wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Enjoy. Torchun feller. Bristol call. Anyway, I have really been in the mood to play fucking Dragon Quest Eight again, and boy, is there not time of the schedule for that one, whether on or off stream. <laughs> Where'd they come from? Max HP depends on their condition, but attack is 5, defense is 0. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. Pretty wimpy, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? Don't you know? Alright, missed that little super guard. Also call shenanigans that they didn't get hurt with the attack, but... Anyway, goodbye. I will say, I also saw on the subreddit, there was a, a very entertaining post where people were debating how many crystal stars Lord Crump and the x Knots could actually manage to grab if Mario wasn't involved. And the conclusion was really that they could probably only manage to get like three or four at most out of like the seven. I don't quite remember all the logic for all of them, but it was definitely an entertaining read. Don't worry much about him, but those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves, I can just feel it. Take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump. Crump him up! You can talk the talk, but can you rock the hawk? Fucking calling the same platoon back out. 
Anyway, I don't feel bad about memeing on you, crops. So we're gonna do power lift again. Which is apparently the cheat code now. Not that it was, like, again, I can't stress that, you know, power lift was definitely not bad in the original, but they, like, essentially doubled how good it was. Because I remember if you, like, did it flawlessly, you could basically get a plus two in each stat, and now you can get plus four. And I feel like it can't be overstated how much even, like, a plus one bonus can be in this game. So, doubling that to a plus four is just insane. Like, I can probably kill Crump next turn, just for funsies. In fact, I will. If I can remember why my Y's and X's there. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. Oh, is he gonna interrupt me to summon more? Alright, fair enough. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? The mouth. 12 damage. Jesus. Goodbye! Neat how you called in the ceiling thing. Oh, right, he fucking just chugs some mushrooms or something off stage. Man, I was bitching about how Dark Souls 3 started this whole nonsense about hidden second health bars, but apparently it was Thousand Year Door's fault. Thought I was almost aced for a second there. Haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. Down, but no way I'm out. And I think it's your turn, unfortunately. The mouth. There we go. Na 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 Anyway, welcome back, from How you doing, bud? Oh, damn it. Should have tried harder. Maybe he would have actually gotten the double experience. Last time we played the original game, we legitimately got double experience on bosses like four or five times in that playthrough. And they haven't gotten this single time this time, which is usually more what happens. I feel like in a playthrough, I tend to get like only one of them. How can I lose again? I hate losing. Yo, mood. Gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Uh, with that pow, I'm gone. Don't follow me or anything, though. Yahoo! Cola's on me. <laughs> you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. 
<laughs> Seriously, he got the Ghost Pirate King, though. Was a little unprepared for that one. You there. What is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into the Cirque Rodis' room and look for a data disk. Data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Cirque Rodis has information that even I am unable to view, but I must know it. I must know that information. How will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. Don't mind tech, really. Any ask me anything. AMA on Reddit. Princess Toadstool, aka Peach. Leave the room and take the elevator up as earlier. I will contact you by codec for further instructions. Elevator. I ascend. First, go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Okay. We. You didn't really tell me which way Grotus's room was, I gotta admit. Who wants to play chemistry set? Concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean potion that makes me invisible? Yes. You will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Oh, cool. Okay. Must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It is that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by x dot researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Red does not go far right. Blue is next to red. So there are like fun effects whenever you fuck up the potions, but I don't have the patience to like try and do all those, so... Two potions between green and red. Okay, that tells me that this is green. This is red. This is blue. And this is yellow. And I don't even have to read the last note. Lamau? Yeah. Superfluous information. Please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. That one. Yellow potion between blue and green. Yeah, didn't need that. Now hit the buttons when the machine tells you to. Where the beacon stops to dispense each potion. Oh, I'm glad that they show like a little timer now. Oh, a little off there. Put green in it all. Do you? Okay. Orge Fainter. Hell yeah. 
Heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Please press the button to begin the heating process. Now I can cheat on this too, Lamal. Because I have a timer on OBS, just watch. Instead of counting this out in my head like a dumb dumb. Again, as you can tell, it's a bit of a lengthy process though. the dog wagging his tail against the door then. Oh boy, I love Nickelodeon Gak. Did it come out correctly, do you think? Eh, probably. I don't know. Let me drink the goo. Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Bottoms up! Yay! You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. I've detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait. I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. The fucking slapping noises that were added in. I've seen people memeing about it. When you go into Silk Rotus's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect it to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. So you're finished, please come back to this room. I'll teach you how to make yourself normal again. I suppose. Now please, go. Naked Peach, let's go! Crazy that Peach gets naked in a Mario game, not once, but twice, canonically. Huh? Okay. That was creepy. Why are the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Am I just totally losing it here? Very funny that they stop and then it's like, oh, but Peach is naked. There's just a cheat. Well, now. For the record, no, wasn't bumping them into that, or at least the first guy. And I was like, wait a minute. Must be Grotus' room. Now, where is that disc? I like the carpet noises. Oh, that's kind of like a cool looking effect, though, seeing the carpet, like, move and get pressed down. Found it. This must be it. Please insert that disc into the computer in this room and connect to the network. I have to warn you, I don't know how to use computers. Oh, I forget what this is a reference to. That, like, music right there. Pretty sure it's to a specific game. I don't think it's the Mario game, though, is it? Is that the old Mario music? It might be. Like Mario Brothers and not Super Mario Brothers kind of a thing. Just slip that right back in. I'm gonna say, never thought about it with the without the, like effect of peach walking on it, but that carpet does look pretty soft and nice. Don't mind me, dude. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Oh, cool. I'll teach you how to become visible again. Quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. So maybe put on the dress first. Hang on one minute. 
Or don't. You know, the streamer wouldn't mind seeing that, honestly. What? Kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Now, of course, you aren't transparent to infrared light, so I could see you the whole time. But I figured I'd wait until I told you that. What is that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... What? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Use the communicator if you wish. Use the communicator, thanks. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Take care, Tech. You're welcome, Tech. I will protect you. this place. Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The lights are because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of those creepy things and find the crystal star. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Aggie. Let's get to it. Rawr. <laughs> no, 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 no. Am I going to be turned into a pig again? Crystal Star, I have no idea, really, but please, Daddy. Also, let you guess who I'm supposed to be talking to right now. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. I applaud that man's stoicism. He saw the immensely bad shit in front of him and was like, nope. Don't believe it. Oh man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. Gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam! Got it. I am mad. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Look, if the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Something there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this will help the crump come back. Let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Sorry about that. He has it at all. I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? If you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. Turtle soup? Your turtle friends will make a very good soup. All troops report. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us, Cooper Clan. Full above. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it going to be, tough guy? Oh, I gotta laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dolt. Super Bowl. 
Dude, crop break! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? Didn't even go off. This is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Ah, cred. And then Twilight Town no longer existed. Gone forever. Real shame. I like the place. Roxas will never have any more ice cream now. Ew, you battle you have distinguished yourself in battle. Excellente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, oh, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let's get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come everybody. I can't wait to get home. You've been looking forward to this so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Uh, Mario. Oh. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. And hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a white nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm sure they'll be all right here, don't you think? Let's leave, Mario. Preparados, amigos. Cast off. Yeah! And with speed and haste. Thus our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? Ship sailed smoothly on the rogue port, and soon we saw the harbor of our bow. Did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have so found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Last we return, slathered in glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Oh, is that Flavio? Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? And of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. Now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? what? Hey, where are you? You're all leaving already? That, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, that you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? Very, very, you should reach un momento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Keelhaw Key, just say the word, see? I'll send you to the isle faster than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. Maybe we meet again, huh? Mario Luigi. I should think maybe we should go too. Maybe go to the door. I fucking love how you can see him running off in the distance. Came back from that island alive. Think you're a blooming freak of nature. Master, true tamer of the high seas. You're more man than I am. Thanks, pal. Yeah, be careful when I go out to the scene in the future. Little bros shouldn't have to worry about their older sibs. Oh, thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Gonna get rich, but I still kind of envy them. Hey, Luigi. And I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Chazafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. It's pretty dramatic, bro. Like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. So, as usual, we're gonna do the side stuff in town, or at least a bunch of it, then we'll call it a night. 
As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It is a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the covers, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I had to know what striking the set means and what, uh... Fuck, what else was there in the Yakuza Zero side quest? I told them we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part in the but Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama plaque might in fact be one of the parts. We well, just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. The musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. I rolled my part. It's grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass. Just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. And our musical was the talk of the town and we won the drama slam. Not the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. Huge after party just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. Wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. Just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. For that, I added a piece to the marvelous compass which pointed north. Went to the rapturous rumblings in, Gim in Grimble Forest. Then, a voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair. How you soothe me. I would be grass for you. Please, step on me, Princess e I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Sorry about that, bro. Uh, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. Came back to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Wanna hear something else? No! I, I'm good, Luigi. Mamma mia. I say, Luigi's a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. This adventure, we're going to on tour to appear on stages everywhere. We're going to be known as The Red Miracle. And of course, Luigi will be grass. Well, what was that face they were doing at the end there? Fucking sassy. I'm gonna be honest, I think that flower's ready to fuck. That is... a face they designed for Hazy. Meanwhile, over here in this little shithole... The HP Dream Badge! Yay! God. So my room's getting warm, because it just seems to be doing that lately with how hot it's been here. Reminded me that, uh, I looked at the weather for today, and first off it was like 100 degrees outside, but somehow our AC was able to keep up, so fucking nice on that. Secondly, though, apparently it's only supposed to drop to like 80-something tonight, and just, ugh, yucky. It will not be cool when I'm trying to sleep. Don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. Cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of the Fiend's data. Currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Since so analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. And well, you once again, once I learn more, be good, okay? Better get to work, too. Don't worry, Vivian. You don't got nothing to prove. You're way better than her. <gasps> Late in the afternoon today, Gooms, known for napping the flowers in the Westside Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. As for comment, Gooms stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out. Before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Yeah, fucking... Don't you hate when you're just, you know, like, hanging out with something you're a big fan of, and then just, you know, one thing leads to another, and suddenly they're in your mouth? Like, crazy. Crazy how easy it happens, you know? Grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Twilight Shop. Husband and wife proprietors of the shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't go get on the hubby's bad side. 
Hers for life and your fancy big city teeth aren't going to change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. That his words are unprincipled here. We did learn that from his high ch highly chatty spouse that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Hey! Now, they always say the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. I don't know in what way the game actually keeps track of that. If it's just for, like, the chapter... If it actually keeps track, if it's like a same day thing. Healthy salad. Slice up a turtley leaf and a horsetail. Mix them together and you're done. Salad. This is much Jolene's younger brother and first champion in the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me well. Get chills just thinking about it. I was wondering if you heard about my big comeback. Been pushing all my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. Finally feeling and seeing the results. Time for Prince Mush to make a re grand return to the ring. Want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help and she's arranged a special exhibition match. Just for the two of us. New champ versus OG champ. When I say I was good. So, uh, yeah, that was something I knew they did, because spoilers and all, which kind of my fault. I'm not going to blame a lot of people on that. Uh, they've added a bonus Prince Mush boss fight, and apparently he is, uh, quite hard. So, we'll have to try that at some point. Also, give me the Luigi book. <laughs> Gotta support my little brother. Um, okay. So where all else can I get some new shit? Ba, ba. So first off, let's also go over here. isn't what I was hoping would be here. Wanted to meet and speak to someone for me. Tell you all about it at my house in Twilight Town. Want to take on Eve's trouble? Yeah. And there's also a little dock right there. How do I get... Oh, it's through here. That's what it is. I also think I never just crossed the gap back here with fucking... Little Krillin. I don't know how useful that would have been earlier. Maybe. I think I was just short of upgrading one more partner before, whether I really wanted to or not. I might need to snack a little bit of food after the stream, too. I did eat before the stream. But it was essentially just some rice with bacon in it, and I think I just need a little more. Double dip badge. Mario use up to two items in a row. For you item lovers out there. God, my nose is suddenly leaking. I took my allergy medicine this morning. Darn it. So is there anything back here I didn't grab? I got that star piece that's up on the thing, right? Nope. Whoops. way right now.
Oh, you're new. I had kind of forgotten that they eventually put some high-level, like, Koopas down in here. Bowser's minions. It'll call reinforcements. One of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopas dream of being Koopa Trolls. What do you think Bowser's doing now, anyway? Eden? I believe he is currently a splitter. Good experience too. Love to see it. God, so much money. Oh, I guess they put it all the way over here now. Yep, look at that. So this room used to be, like, way off to the left. Oh, look at all them schmoving like that. Yo, they got the moves, though. I hit the wrong fucking button against the hammer. Well, now... Sorry, goofed it. You get no experience for this one. So yeah, that's what happens if you didn't know when I've been talking about how you always get a star point. All those enemies were too weak to give me one, but I got the freebie one at the end anyway. how tough this pink guy is. The Spunya. So I have the Spinya, the Spinya, and the Spunya. God. I don't know why my allergies were suddenly started kicking my ass. HP is 12, attack is 7, and defense is 2. Woo! Yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty tough. Won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there. Hey, blocked it. Well, now, good thing I have so many years of experience super blocking these guys. Sorry, Goombella. It's not that I hate you or anything, but, like, you know. My actual video game life should be here. Come out. start close enough to the edge. God! They made Yoshi so much more annoying. With the whole momentum thing. I hate it so much. Which 
probably just try and fire coops over here, but. Now we get the long boat right back, and I have to remember that there's a fucking little shine sprite in there. And then we go to Twilight Town. I was really hoping. So. Minor spoilers for game mechanics, but eventually you get a little side quest to help out Merlon, and then he can upgrade your partners a second time. And I thought I unlocked it here, but I guess I must have to wait a little bit longer. Or I just need to do these two side quests first, and then I get it, but either way. here so that I can also enjoy the double point thing. Ah. And I am also full on items. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. There we go. I need to sell a couple things first, and I will stock up on probably syrup. Kind of want to keep the shooting star though. But I know I won't use those, so fuck it. Take two syrups and one of the super shrooms, or whatever they are, the mega shrooms. Can do. I think I can talk to any shop once I do that. I maybe should have left a space open as well, but yeah. Hello, Eve. You've accepted my trouble request. Hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? I need you to help me to meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. I had the same dream to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and we shared a wonderful love for a time. That cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. When I finally got a part in a broad shroom play as the leading lady, Podley left me. Left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Podley, why? Dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. Left the production while it was in rehearsal. Forgot about Podley and my dreams. Got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. Now I'm surrounded by beautiful children. Happiness is so complete now I had forgotten about those days. I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chocola shop in Rogueport. Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Is my stage name. Please meet with Podley and ask how he feels about me. Did a bird say something now? Very poorly on his SATs. No, tried so very hard and we spent so very much. Don't you go get down on yourself now. He can try again, can he? Auntie? Flo? Are you listening to me? You look peaked. Yo, rip, dude. Go on an epic journey. I will gather what light I can. Well, I'm a mere crow. I cannot embark on such a quest in this darkness. We'll fly at dawn. Will dawn ever come? Can't even grant wishes. Just that Twilight Town will always be peaceful and ever so dim. Mario 
was the bad guy. Mario was really the oink hero of our village. Oink, 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 oink. Just not getting this at all. In my next life, I want to be a strong person like you who helps people like rare. Is that? Should start now. Oh, well, you know. Rather do it next life. Yo, fucking mood. Whatever, wear that hat with those overalls. Mean that in a nice way, of course. Total trendsetter, seriously. Hell yeah! I just recently finished new work. Heartwarming love story exploring the endless rooms of a heart. Prefer horror? Figures. Damn! Alright. Mario was like, fuck that romance shit. Kingdom got kidnapped again. Must have her locked up safe and sound somewhere far away, huh? Still. Peach is sweet at all, but come on. Being on call to save a frequent kidnappy must wreak havoc on a schedule. Not Mario ever gets sick of saving her. That guy's a total glutton for punishment. Damn. See, Mario, even the fucking crows are like you deserve better. I have good memories to cling to, but the problem is, not all memories are good. What do you do about things you want to forget? Can't you dump those somehow? Twilight Town and Memories, huh? Yeah. Shout out to Cage, too. Starting a new pay site. Gonna be a real estate listings page that I'll call Luigi's Mansion. Hey, that sounds good. I think I've heard that name before. You don't want rabid lawyers attacking you. Fuck it. Nintendo was like, we will sue. Don't you dare. We know how crazed the lawyers are. day it is because I never leave this room. And I wasn't planning on talking to everyone when we got here, but you know. Um, to see me then, right? Gosh, if that's the case, don't know how to say this, but you're just not my type. Damn! We found the one woman in this game who is not extremely attracted to Mario. Shout out to her. The only gal with good taste. Yahoo! Fucking Mario! Bell hasn't rung at all since that whole piggy nightmare ended. Near our town, we'll get to hear the sound of the bell again someday. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Sure is swell. As much a song as a jingle, but fair. Environmental problems. Air pollution, global warning, acid rain, ozone layer depletion. Didn't start on their own, and they aren't going to end on their own, either. Just don't see a solution to those rate of global consumption habits. Alright, fun's over. Let's go. And I go talk to Podly the asshole. You, you, you. Was an art form. Now I know. Explosion's just an explosion. There ain't no way around it. Oh, alright. So you're having a rough time? Don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long lost love. I don't want to say this too loudly, you understand. Miss Blossom's the daughter of Don Pianta, Francesca, the mob princess. Haven't seen her around town lately. Hope she hasn't eloped with another. Whew. Hey, bud, keep drinking. <laughs> Human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? What is it, Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. Eve? I know no such person. Perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And is that all you needed? I'm a little busy. Could just fucking talk to her, my guy. You suck.
feel like Podly was painted on a much poorer light in the OG, I feel. At least with this side quest. I remember going through this and being like, oh, what an asshole. This is all not quite as much. Make something up quick. Probably's forgotten about me. Fine, I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. Special dinners from Zest Tea's shop. Mario, you have one too. Oh, Mario, your inventory's full. Just leave this here for you to grab whenever you can. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Yeah, why are you crying, Mom? Yeah, man, if only Podley just, like, would talk to someone for once. Instead of, like, trying to avoid everything. Not a huge fan of that little trouble right there. Like, literally, no one's happy at the end of it. Like, I feel like I actively made things worse. It's like, okay, cool. Now I'm depressed, game. Thanks. I could have just not done that. Please come listen to my request. Oh, God, this fucking guy. This fucking asshole with poor taste. I say asshole because in OG Japanese he was transphobic like, you know, 90% of the cast. But... It's like old Nintendo had a fucking grudge against trans people or something. are always the same, but... <laughs> Gotta rack up that completion percentage with the journal! Oh, right, I was- I actually opened that menu for a reason. The badge list. We have 58 out of 86. We making progress. And our recipes, 13 out of 58. Ooh. I have not found all of the star pieces from any chapter, huh? Rip. What's our tattle log doing? 82 out of 134. Alright, alright. Could put on power jump. I wish I could show ones I'm not wearing. Do spike shield, fire drive. I do like fire drive. Uh, 
Um. This is the required FP god. Just spam items, Lamau. I do like Fire Drive. Uh, what was I doing next? We gotta head back to Keel Hall Keys. Let's go. And then we'll check the trouble board again to see if the Merlon one starts up. But if not, that'll probably be what we call it tonight. I don't recall anywhere else we can bow. Oh, I can think of one spot where we can do. Or we can boat to extra treasure. Boy, be it. To see we go. Do I have to go the long way? I might have to go the long way. Unless they've added in something to make this faster. what they changed with the platforming, but good god. I feel like I've seen other people complain about it, so I'm pretty sure it's not just me. Honestly, might have been faster to actually just go in the OG entrance, but fuck it. Can I backtrack like this? I think he's actually off to the left. Oh yeah, because I'm just gonna boat to the original entrance. Well, shit. Everything we're gonna have to deal with again. Just try and avoid everything. Even though that probably still give decent experience. jumped on these, but I was just stuck in jump mode in my brain. again because in my head that's where Y is oh, but I can't jump across right here anymore Oh, I can probably do this, though. Like they got rid of the fucking barrels not there anymore. Okay. 
guess I could flurry and just stun them with the air. Yes. I was trying to remember if the black chest was up here or if the key was up here, but the key was up here, so this should be where we need to go. Fuck. My depth perception. This asshole's just hanging out in this room for some reason. Thanks for taking all my trouble all the way out here, too. I know it's far. Came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. No one to date. I mean, no one. Chatting up sea turtles here. All I need you to do is introduce me to a gal who's nice and chatty. That's it. Nice chatty gal, okay? About my age, short like me and Goomba shaped. Also like me. Guess I'm just describing a Goomba gal. That would be perfect. Can you give a Goomba a hand? But, uh, that whole goth shadow thing is a bit creepy. There, I said it. You're too goth for me. Not even a Goomba. Remember what I told you? Not really doing much to impress me either, bud! Hell yeah, Vivian. What's everyone else say? Very glamorous gal indeed, but you're kind of floaty and I'm ground bound for life. Not even a Goomba. All oh, wrong. Remember what I told you? Haughtiest of all laughs. You had best get your eyes checked, young man. I am a prize. Hell yeah. Respect. This is a gal, yes, but you're some sort of rat. Close but no Goomba. Remember what I told you? I'd stay out of dark alleys for a little while if I were you. Hell yeah. Alright, Goombella, your turn. Listen, fool that you are, Goombella is probably the partner who's most ready to throw hands at the slightest irritation. Really cute in that ponytail. Slam dunk band, yes. Watch an artist work, I've got a foolproof opening line where I just confess my love right away. Oh god. Believe in love at first sight, Angel, because you know, I do, and what are you trying to say? Just spit it out. Love you. Like, loved you since before either of us was born, please go out with me. This is awkward. Sorry, already going out with Mario here. Bad look, pal. And I've had enough of this. Peace! Sorry to put you on the spot, Mario. That's the fastest way to get rid of a guy like that. Yeah, it still technically helped that guy with his trouble, so let's take this as a reward. Getting too many things at the moment. You take care of your inventory, then pick it up. Yeah, I should have thought of that, too. Silly me. Of course I stock up on items right before that. Well, doing all this. Uh, I'll just eat, eat the mushroom. Couple's cake. Food that slowly refills HP. You can't eat it yourself, but you can share it. Anyway. Now we just gotta get back to town. I bet if I had just turned in the star, then opened the fucking warp pipe. It probably would have opened, like, right here or something. Uh, this would actually be faster. Probably not right here, but probably the room to the right where I needed the key. That seems like a decent spot to put it. Or it's in, you know, actual town. I don't know. Those pipes didn't exist in the OG. I don't know where the fuck they are. I thought I could squeeze by. Come on, let's get back to town so I can call it a night. Maybe open a window or something, pull my room off a little. Or at least just turn off some of these lights because they definitely aren't helping. Oh, God. Jeez, that last one felt a lot faster than the other ones. Just have to 
jump past these stupid fucking barrels one more time. But yeah, like, come on. Coward doesn't want to date the goth shadow. But yeah, in the, uh, the OG Japanese version, he is a uh, little transphobic in his response to Vivian, to the shock of no one who knows how most of the OG Japanese version treated her. Controller vibrating enough it made noise. Wow. Eh. Sorry, just the music was different and caught me off guard. I think it played like this when we got back anyway. Alright, if I'm lucky, maybe we'll have a new trouble board and it's Berlon. I can get level 3 partners, please. I think I get an item in the next chapter, and that's what lets me, like, help him out, so I'm kind of... Yeah. RIP, dude. Um, let me grab the thing down here just before I forget. Then I will save and call it a night. Actually, can I get this thing too? Might be a couple things I can get right here. No, I think I need... Yeah, I need something else to get there. Okay. Well, there is this lovely little boat thing. Oh, I actually don't remember... I don't remember what's back there, actually. Might just be like a treasure or something. Uh, yeah, I think I think most of the house is back there. It's like the various uh, like wizards and stuff to help you. But I think that one's just like empty and has some kind of treasure in it. I don't remember what. Because that's the, the lady that does the enchantment curse, whatever they want to call it now. The guy back in this one, I believe, lets you respec. And kind of the meme playthrough is to... You can do it earlier, but it's more risky. But it's usually to, like, at this point, respec so that you have, like, five health. So you're always in danger and you activate the, like last chance badge or whatever that ups your attack by two for every badge when you're in danger it's just called like danger mario playthrough and you just go through like that and there's only 47 more star pieces to buy there still several areas of the game, so... I feel like I'm doing pretty good as far as finding star pieces. Yeah, that's closed, and I don't think I can get in there yet. Okay. That should be a good spot to call it a night, and I think a save point's right here. Yeah. Alright, that is where... We are going to call it then. Whew. A lot of reading this one. A lot of reading. Goodbye, YouTube.